Hi, I'm Yara Woody, Finance and Health Policy Associate here at ASA. Today I'm going to talk about some of the things that you can do now to prepare for the upcoming changes in the health care reform law as they relate to employers. Some of the immediate provisions in the law that are effective this year are the tax incentives for small businesses who offer insurance to their employees, tax refund opportunities for employers continuing coverage for early retirees who do not qualify for Medicare, and a series of new requirements and standards for the health insurance market. To read all the provisions that become effective this year, go to our website www.asa.org and click on Health Reform Hub link. Once you're there, you will see a section for employers, and this section should give you all the details you need about health care reform and how they may affect you as an employer. So what should employers do to prepare for these changes? Employers should act on immediate changes and be aware in thinking about changes that happen later on, including the big changes in 2014, when large employers will be called on to either provide coverage or be assessed a penalty. For immediate changes that happen this year, if you offer insurance to your employees, make sure your HR department is talking to your insurance company and you are both aware of the law and all the regulations and guidances that is released and must be followed to comply. ASA will be tracking all regulations and will be posting those on our website, so keep checking back to the ASA hub page as we continue to expect new regulations to be released very shortly, especially for those that have provisions effective 2010 and 2011. For those employers who already have an insurance broker, they can be very helpful in explaining what the law says and how you should comply, so they can be a great resource for your business. Something that employers should be aware of is that employers will be responsible for preparing enrollment material with the correct information for the new benefit year. Some plans provide employees something in writing about the benefits, so you'll be able to, to use what they have. But make sure that even if you have that, that your HR department understands the details themselves because as an employer, you will also have to comply with certain rules. Not only that, you also want to make sure that the plan you're sponsoring is also in compliance with the law. The last thing to remember is that the major changes employers will face don't happen until 2014. So although you may feel the need to start preparing now, you should use some caution, especially because there are a lot of unknowns in the law and guidance and regulations for most of the provisions still need to be developed. I also want to stress that if you look ahead and start making changes that are only effective in the far off years, that it may affect your status as a grandfather plan. Even for some of the 2010 provisions, there is still no guidance on how plans should move forward while keeping their grandfathered status. So you really want to wait until more guidance and regulation is available to start planning and executing those major changes, especially for the changes that happened in 2014. Lastly, since there is still a lot of time left until 2014, if you don't currently offer insurance benefits, one thing that you may want to consider is start a conversation with your board about whether you should start offering health benefits beginning in 2014. Again, if you need more information on all the provisions in the health care reform law, go to the ASA website at www.asa.org forward slash healthcare reform hub dot ASPX.